Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we will continue our discussion with uh, biomedical instrumentation. So in the previous video we discussed about micro electrodes. So in this video we are going to discuss about another important concept related to the biomedical measurement using electrodes which is the electrical conductivity of electrode jellies and creams okay so we all know that uh, electrodes are used for the measurement of uh, biomedical signals but these electrodes uh, they are not applied directly to the skin for a number of reasons okay uh, there are many reasons for that the most important is uh, to not to cause any infection uh, any kind of a reaction from the patient uh, abnormal reaction to increase the efficiency of uh, uh, recording the measurement so for there are a number of reasons why we use electrode jellies or creams as an interface between the electrode and the skin okay so this electrode jelly or cream acting as a uh, as an interface which separates the electrode and the skin has an important role to play in signal conduction because we want to record the signal from the body so the signal has to travel from the body through the electrode jelly or cream and reach the electrode so the conductivity or the resistivity of uh, this electrode jelly or cream will play a huge role in determining how much of the signal the biopotential or whatever biosignal we are measuring reaches from the body specific organ or specific body part reaches the electrode okay so that is our discussion the point or uh, the topic of discussion here okay so as i said the conducting electrode jellies and creams are used to establish a good contact between the patient's body part skin or and the recording electrode and this outer layer of the skin okay the extreme outer layer of the skin it is responsible for bulk or a huge amount of impedance value which is called as skin contact impedance so therefore there should be proper preparation of the skin which is called a skin abrasion uh, skin preparation has to be done the choice of electrode jelly and cream should be good which matches our requirement which matches with the type of electrode which is used which is compatible with the composition of the electrode so there are a lot of specifications for that and also some necessary precautions are taken so that the signal measurement is done with good efficiency and there is no damage caused to the patients so the first uh, necessary step which is taken is that the area which is where the recording has to be done with the application of the electrode is first cleaned with an ether met mixture okay and another important thing which uh, which has to be taken care of is that the the jelly or the cream should have a chloride ion concentration cl minus ion concentration of about 1% i have also told this in the previous video that the electrolyte or the electrode jelly or cream which is either involved in the electrode or the electrode jelly or cream it should have the chloride ion in the concentration which is there in the body we know that human body is composed of various types of electrolytes positive ions and negative ions cations and anions na plus k plus sodium potassium chloride so the jelly should also have a chloride ion concentration of about 1% which is close to that in the body 
so these are the necessary precautions and the jelly should be of bland nature it should not be harsh and should not contain soap or phenol which can cause skin irritation so as a, we all know we have already discussed about this but the interface between this electrode and the skin can be divided into two parts for analysis first the interface between the electrode and the electrolyte where these two meet the electrode and the electrolyte and then the electrolyte and skin because these two portions contribute to the signal conduction they play their role so we all know i am not going to discuss it again because i have already discussed it in two videos separate videos just in a quick way i will make you understand that uh, at each of these interfaces there is a tendon uh, tendency of movement of positive and negative ions and after a certain point certain period of time the ions the positive and negative ions they stabilize themselves in this way and this arrangement of ions develops an electric potential at the interface okay so this electrical condition can be represented in this way okay a resistor capacitor and then a another resistor connected in parallel across this combination this is the potential which is developed in a simplified way we can uh, represent this in this way this is for electrolyte skin this is for metal electrolyte same conditions and the simplified way we can represent we can eliminate this resistor and simplify it using this here the resistor this represents the conditions associated with the mobility of ions the resistivity offered by both the metal electrolyte interface and the electrolyte skin interface okay the resistance across those interfaces okay the opposition to the movement of uh, this signal capacitance represents the charge developed at these two interfaces the electrode electrolyte and the electrolyte skin interface how much charge is developed by the arrangement of the ions and uh, the potential e represents the electric potential which is developed at these two interfaces which i have already said so how the conductivity of the jelly will affect its uh, you know the signal conduction so you know as this becomes part of the overall circuitry okay let us look at the simplified version so this uh, resistance r will be affected by the conductance or conductivity or resistivity of this electrolyte which acts as an interface between the two okay so various types of specifications are associated with it okay because this resistance which involves a lot of factors the resistance of the electrode means the resistance associated with the electrode electrolyte the skin contact impedance all of these combined together into one so the resistance of the electrolyte that will also play a role in the overall signal conduction from the body part to the electrode so the skin uh, the the contact impedance okay this overall impedance how it varies with different types of electrode so here we have first is a jelly or electrode cream with low concentration of ions the chloride ions so the ions required for it then we have a high concentration electro uh, electro jelly and another uh, plot is for careful skin preparation how they are different so first for a low concentration jelly uh, jelly with low concentration of ions so you can see uh, the the resistance 
it varies in a certain range which centers around 500 uh, kilo ohms okay 500 kilo ohms and it almost remains the same for a period of about one hour or so okay 15 30 45 minutes it remains the same almost this is in minutes okay and uh, that for a high concentration jelly initially it is around five uh, 500 k ohms but then it decreases gradually and at last at around 60 minutes it is around 5000 ohms okay 5000 ohms and that with skin preparation or skin abrasion skin preparation means certain uh, uh, the skin is prepared in a certain way so that the electrode can be applied for biomedical measurement for that it is constant starting from uh, the initial time at t equals to zero and uh, for entire duration of one hour or more than that it is 5000 ohms okay so the low concentration jelly it is constant remaining constant the skin prepa prepared that measurement impedance also remains constant it has a high value of contact impedance this has a low value for a high concentration jelly it starts with a high value then decreases gradually and ends at 5000 ohms now uh, all of these uh, specifications low concentration high concentration skin preparation they have their own importance for various purposes for various biomedical measurements depending on which organ uh, we are measuring the biomedical potential what type of electrode is used what type of electrode jelly is used all of these will be at that point of time will be referred to it does not mean that this is good or this is bad or this characteristics is good this is bad no depending on the requirement a particular type of plot will be coming up okay so this is the behavior of this jellies in different situations okay for our reference so this is the variation of the contact impedance this impedance r which comes in the overall circuitry in the biomedical measurement system and has a huge role in affecting the biomedical signal measurement so this is all about the electrical conductivity of electrode jellies and creams so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much